Alrighty, let's start off this construction update with going to my favorite place to film, right next to Mindbuster. So this is where I walk, I walk over to Mindbuster's exit, and I normally film from there. So as I'm walking there today, I'm super excited to go film. I've heard a lot is going on, I'm going over there, you know, I'm like, getting ready, and what is that? That wasn't there before. What is this? Really? What? <laughs> this is not fair. Um, not fair at all. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it. So, um, this is what the construction site looked like on Friday before the long weekend. Um, so they were getting along really, uh, far along in construction. And there's a reason I'm showing this. I mean, you'll see. So we talked about this in comparison to Val Raven, and there's a lot going on that is starting to show some slight differences that are leading towards some theming. So um, you have the station area ready, ready for vertical construction. So remember that, because that's going to play a part in the video um, portion near the end when I show you the new track that arrived last night. But it looks like with that wall going up on Mindbuster, that vertical construction may be starting soon. We assume the wall has gone up because they're going to be installing track and they don't want guests even exiting Mindbuster to see it. There's no way they install the construction wall just for me. That would be, I mean, none of my um, blueprint shots came from that area. So I, I can't see them installing a wall just there um, for me. Um, so I definitely think that it is because vertical construction is going to start. Um, which is super exciting, it's super early, but we know that this portion, this half of the coaster, is essentially done. Um, it is ready for the vertical construction to start. So here you can see, this is from today, the building, a building erecting around this. So some walls are going up, so strange. Walls are going up for more cement, and it's really high. So it's like, damn, look at all that cement that they're gonna have to pour. It's almost like they're building a home. Is that potentially theming? That would be cool. Look how deep and high this building is going to be. So it's definitely a building because we know this coaster goes really down to the ground, low to the ground in that valley there as it turns out of the station towards the pre-lift. So it's really interesting to see what's going to happen because it looks like they're building a really large kind of like a structure around it. And I, and I mean, it could be a part of the footer itself, but to me that looks really large. Um, so. Maybe some of you can help me out down below. What do you think they're building around that pre-lift? The pre-lift's done. It's ready, to, like, I think it has like 20 days left, tops left to dry before they can actually do vertical construction on the lift hill, which is insane on itself. So, um, cause we all know it's 28 days curing for a footing once it's poured. Um, and these footings over here, again, I'm trying to use proper terminology again. Thank you for everyone correcting me down below. Um, if I'm going to do these construction updates, I have to learn from my mistakes, but do know I'm going to continue to make some mistakes. Just correct me down below and I'll keep trying my best to get the right terminology in there. But definitely lots of um, exciting things are about to happen. So one, the teasing campaign didn't start when I thought it would. So it didn't start Canada Day long weekend. That's unfortunate. Um, I really thought it was going to start just because it's uh, the busiest weekend at Canada's Wonderland. So I thought, why not put up a like, hashtag what's in the tunnel on the tunnel and get people tweeting and talking. Um, but yeah, that's the station area there. And we're going to see um, definitely uh, some work going on in that area very shortly, I suspect. Um, this is a really interesting aspect of the construction site. So if you look, lots of water main work going on in the back portion of Splashworks. That is the second new water main that was just installed. And they're leveling out this, um, what used to be a valley almost next to Splashworks. They're leveling it out. They're bringing in dirt off of property. This dirt is not coming from Wonder Mountain Junior one off of property. Um, just next to Ghoster Coaster. This is literally being brought in from somewhere else, um, which is intriguing. Uh, and it's uh, it's either for, if I had to guess, maybe, maybe the hotel, probably a water park expansion or like uh, just maybe one water slide complex. Who knows? It's definitely for something, something water related or sewage related. So um, yeah, super exciting about that too. Maybe a restaurant will go back there. Who knows? It could be anything at this point and I have no idea. So. Two new pieces of track arrived. That is either your transfer track section drive tires or your station that we just saw. And uh, I definitely want help figuring this out because if this is station, it is slightly smaller 
in terms of um, lengthwise. It's um, the track we figured out looks like it might be slightly wider than Valraven. We compared shots of it on um, a pickup truck compared to Valraven's track on the pickup truck, and ours overhangs the pickup truck a lot more than um, Valraven's did. So we estimated Valraven's um, width of the track to be around 6.5, and ours is around 8. So that might be some interesting information right there on itself. And then on top of it, um, what's even weirder is the if that's the station piece, we know one of the pieces is station. There's two drive tires pieces coming in. It's, it's Correct me down below if I'm wrong, but it looks like it has one less drive tire section to that of Valraven. Um, I definitely want your help on figuring that out down below because that would be interesting. Are we looking at shorter trains maybe? Are we looking at something unique in terms of train design? Like definitely interested in this part now. Um, definitely help me. Is that transfer track or is that station, that drive tire piece right there? Um, there's only one more piece to arrive and it's a smaller piece as well. And, um, or no, it's not a smaller piece, sorry. It's one more clamp clamp. Again, I'm using clamp clamp for the clamp brakes. Um, so one more clamp clamp section coming and the supports and they might ship all those together. We know it looks like more tracks coming tonight because they had the gate open. Um, we were not in the gate. We were standing outside the gate, just grabbing some shots with the zoom camera. You can see the gate off to the right there in the camera. Um, but yeah, definitely super excited. Um, very intrigued as to the track design now. It does look slightly different and you can see some more wood there as they're getting ready for more track to come. And we figured out that these four pieces were to be delivered by what looks like Vince. So good job, Vince. Thank you for delivering our track. A okay. Um, and I assume, and uh, I, I not even just assuming, I really think track's gonna be coming. So we got some good shots off to the side. Um, of the sticker. Uh, unfortunately, the really good juicy description is all worn out. So that plays in Wonderland's side. Thank goodness I'm not leaking something else. But uh, yeah, it, not much. I uh, got some really good shots up close on this. If you guys notice anything, comment down below. I want to hear from you guys on what this is. Uh, we definitely know it's the brake running station, but if there's anything different, tell me. I want to know. I want to figure this out. Um, and this is fun. So there you have your magnetic brakes. It's not a launch. It's magnetic brakes. Similar to that on Val Raven. Um, but yeah, super cool altogether. And uh, I'm really excited that the updates are probably going to get more exciting starting soon with vertical construction because you know my updates have been a little you know, not happening even every other day. They're not happening every day. They're pretty... Uh, spread out now um, just to prevent them from being too repetitive but um, the tracks the track looks like it's uh, done arriving there's one more piece to arrive and that's probably coming tonight and then they can start vertical construction and with that wall arising it definitely looks like they're going to start vertical construction which is super exciting um, so a couple of things that I want to hear from you guys down below what do you think they're building around that pre-lift on this coaster what do you think the um, track design symbolizes? Are you noticing anything I'm not? I definitely want to hear about that. Trust me, I don't know anything about height or unique details about this coaster. So I'm not sitting here pretending that. Trust me, I'm not pulling the wool over you guys. Um, I definitely need your help figuring this out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this update. Um, there's going to be a little more coming um, because I have a feeling that the, the remaining and the supports might be here tomorrow or the day after, depending on who's delivering them. If it was delivered last night, it is very rare that it will be here tonight. It might come tomorrow night then because it's one guy delivering it. So very intriguing as to what's going to be going on over the next couple of weeks. If vertical construction starts, this coaster is looking to be like a very unique project, as a lot of us already know. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video update. Um, comment down below, give the video a like, share to others, and subscribe if you haven't. Head on over to our Instagram account to participate in our takeover videos. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy that new concept as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.